G'day and welcome back to the workshop. I recently got this really cool pocket hole jig from Tutok. This is a really nice jig made of aluminium and anodized in this nice red color. The only piece of plastic on it is this knob and this uh, grip here is a really nice rubber. It's really good quality with some brass knobs here for the height adjustment. And uh, this is my first time using a pocket hole jig. And I realized that there are two things that you have to learn before you can use a jig like this. I understand that using a pocket hole jig is kind of like going over to the dark side or being a male over 40 years old that just lets itself go. Well, I have done neither. This is just for demonstration purposes. I've attached my jig to a baseboard so that I can clamp it real nice and tight in the vise. The first of two important things you need to do before using this jig is to set the height to the desired thickness. My material is about 30mm, so I set it to the 30mm using the guideline. The second thing you need to do is ensure that the drill bit doesn't come down too far into the wood and that it stops with enough room for the screw to get a bit of bite into the material and then go into the adjoining face just nicely. The depth of cut is set using this silver collar on the drill bit. This next one is kind of obvious but if you're going to have a situation where the screws are going to collide with each other you need to mark them offset and then drill them so that they don't touch. Now you just have to line your mark up with the mark on the jig and clamp it in and then get drilling. I'm making these two plant boxes so now I'm going to cut the four corner posts and the top rails. After I've cut all my corner posts to length, I tip the blade over to about 10 degrees and then cut through the end of each post four times, rotating it each time. And uh, it gives this really nice faceted look on the top, which is effective for getting drainage off the top of the, uh, the wood from rain and stuff. But uh, also I think it looks kind of cool as well.
Now it's time for screwing this thing up. You do want to make sure you pull everything nice and tight together with clamps. Otherwise it tends to uh, separate the two pieces from the, uh, the pressure from the driver. But uh, apart from that it's a pretty easy process of just going around and screwing everything together. You can see here how my screws are offset so that they won't collide with each other when I screw them in. The screws I'm using are Panhead Robertson screws. They're outdoor ones, they're not the normal uh, indoor ones that you would use with um, another brand of pocket hole. Thank you to Tutok for giving me the tools that enable me to make educational videos like this one. So that's how quick and easy it is to use pocket hole screws. I'm, I'm really quite surprised and it was quite a cool experience. Uh, I was able to knock these up uh, in about half a day. And um, the pocket hole jig works really well. I'm really impressed. So thanks to Tutok again. And um, I really like the way this little set of planters looks out in my, uh, in my garden. Okay, cheers guys. And we'll uh, catch you on the next one.